Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 16, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we did fall in the beginning of the session and then we rallied, but we're still now we're trading underneath the 20 exponential. So we did rally from the 50 moving average, so the 50, 40, and the 20 have acted as a major support in the past, and uh, we can see uh, yet again the 40 exponential acting as support. Technically, in Ganesh, they are fairly mixed at this current stage. Stochastic has completely turned around, has crossed the signal line, and it's indicating bearish momentum. The MACD is also bearish at this point. We're still in uptrend. We're still in above zero. And the uh, RSI is flat and the CCI is flat at this point. So at this current date, we know that the 2050 uh, has offered a massive amount of support in the past. So pullbacks toward the 50, 40, they, those will most likely be, be bought into. However, if the 50 breaks, that opens the door to the 100 moving average at 1364. A break above these candlesticks right here, that opens the door to these previous highs of 1423. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. We continue trading sideways. So what most likely will happen here is that we'll continue sideways or break down towards the 20 before going higher. This is a, a currency pair that is significantly overbought and has been significantly overstretched also only a, a, basically last week where we uh, went outside of the bullish band and then broke down. But since then, we have been trading sideways. Other indicators are very bullish at this point, so pullbacks towards the 20, those will most likely, uh, most likely will be bought into. At the moment, current target is 110. So, Euro and US dollar, as you can see, this is not as bullish as the Great British Pound, the US dollar. We have, this currency pair has major difficulties in getting through these upper uh, moving averages, the uh, 20, 40, 50 are all over here, and we are testing basically the 200 and 150. We are having the crossings here of the moving averages, and that will only increase downward pressure for this um, currency pair. Technical indicators are also very bearish at this point. MACD is bearish, stochastic is turning around and will most likely cross the signal line in the next few days. RSI is flat, we're on the edge of being oversold, and the CCI is also flat. We have turned around here in the bullish band. We didn't even get close to the middle of the bullish band. So at this current stage, it looks like we are going to roll over here and head back towards the lows of the bullish band, which is at this current stage, 1182. Rallies from here will most likely find a resistant uh, at the 20, 40, and the 50 uh, moving average. So Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have a pullback a little bit and then rallied. So we're just above the 40 and the 50 and right at the 20 exponential moving average. They're basically all together here. So it is also very uh, um, unclear where we are going at this point due to the fact that the 150 offered massive support in the past and we broke down again today and rallied. It is uh, probably more likely that we're going, going to rally. However, technical indicators, they are all over the place. Stochastic is turning around. RSI is bullish, CCI is flat, and, and uh, MACD is basically flat at this point. So they are not very much help at its current stage. Pullbacks towards the 20, 100 moving average that will most likely be uh, bought into. And uh, yes, so it's basically just wait and see. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we did rally and then broke down again. And we did also break the previous lows here. Uh, right at the moment, we're right at a 1247.32. So we're we have basically broken the previous lows here and went basically lower. Technical indicators they are very bearish for this. However, we are significantly oversold. So at this current stage, I would not be surprised if we basically rally from here up towards the 20 exponential, the 40 or the 50 before breaking down uh, lower. This is a very low number. We're also very overstretched here in the bullish band. So selling at this stage is extremely risky. Um, and uh, pullbacks towards these moving averages, that is probably the best strategy at this point. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. 
The link is down below. Thank you and good luck.